Tilsley. Now, is it still Tilsley? Officially, yeah, but she should be Battersby, really, because yeah. I think she's better as a Battersby, don't well, you? Well, she needs to get back to her roots. Well, I can't believe it was 18 years ago since young Jane pitched up on the cobbles with the rest of the clan, the rest of the Battersbys, um, as one of the Spice Girls. Oh, yeah, 18 years ago next month. Wonderful. Yeah, scary stuff. And here we are, of course, you, the centre of the action uh, once again. And let's face it, she's been around a few blocks, Arlianne. <laughs> um, the fire at Victoria Court we'll go on to in just a moment. But the proposal, of course, oh, the long-awaited proposal. Yeah. Cal down on one knee. And how romantic was that? Back at the Rovers, <laughs> where they have their fags. Yeah, but they dressed it up quite nice. It's lots of pretty lights. <laughs> but something tells me, it's because it's Leanne, it's not going to go right, is it? Well, you know, she has got form, yeah. let's face yeah, it. But yeah. so there's something about Carl. I mean, he's a gentleman he and is. she deserves this happiness. I and mean, Nick, nice let's face guy. it, he's got his issues. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. He's Crazy. a nice guy, right? Nice guy, but, but maybe oh, that's sorry, it. That's it, because he's a nice guy. Maybe that's why it's all going to go wrong, because she likes a bad boy, I think. She likes a bad boy. OK, yeah. well, speaking of which, while um, the good guy is off looking for the ring yeah. in tonight's episode, you smell fire. Yes. Leanne goes to find Carl because she's getting a bit anxious. She wants that ring on the finger. Um, so she goes to find him. En route, she spots that there's something amiss at Carla's flat. So that's when all the action begins. And it's not just Carla's dry ice machine. There's actually a <laughs> fire. Um, and uh, obviously you're in the centre of the action. Here's a taste of what you can expect tonight. <laughs> And what I love about the new builds here in Weatherfield is they're far more robust than they build them down south. Oh, yeah, heavy-duty yeah. fireproofing, everything. <laughs> All of that business. Well, speaking of the fireproofing, I mean, you are very much in the thick of it without giving too much away. Yeah. Leanne does enter the fray. So she does. So how was that for you, filming those scenes? Do you know what? It was quite exciting because it was almost like doing a separate TV show because we were so self-contained doing all the special effects. We had a wonderful special effects team who did the tram crash, who also did the rover's fire. But look, it's all back together. It's all fine. Amazing. Um, but, yeah, they did the... They did, they've done all our special effects, but this one in particular was was quite big and I, could, I shan't give too much away, but there are quite a few twists and turns along the way. So yeah. they had quite a lot to do, a lot of night shoots, but um, it was Corrie at its best, you know, all the characters together, um, real ensemble. It was just great fun to film. Corrie at its best, night shoots, a great ensemble cast <laughs> and 30 gas cylinders. Yeah, now, that's what I call a party. <laughs> yeah, it, it was certainly warm on the night. Now, I know you haven't seen the episodes no. and I've been lucky enough to see all five of them. There's some beautiful moments that are coming up, obviously, between you and Carl. Uh, there's a lot of action uh, to. Do you think she'll ever find happiness, Jay? Uh, no, probably not. No. <laughs> She's just face. not one of them characters that's ever going to be happy, which provokes more drama for me as an actor. So um, I'd like her to find a little bit of happiness, but something tells me that she won't. 